Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome to this first impressions episode of Dark Echo, a game that recently came out of Greenlight onto Steam that was originally an app for mobile, and it looks very interesting. It's a puzzle game based around the fact that you are blind, and well, not you are necessarily blind, but you cannot see what's going on in in a in the traditional sense. Instead, you are re required to use echolocation of noises you can make within the game. Normally I'd start off in the menu screen, but we simply don't have one. Well, we do have a menu screen here, but we don't have a title screen is what I was looking for there. So getting straight into the game, we have missed nothing other than that tiny little prompt saying going right. So this is how we're starting off. Okay, for those who haven't seen a first impression series of mine before, simply put, it's me playing a game as a blind run, and that, wow, and the word blind has never been more appropriate. Okay. And without any real knowledge of the game other than the basics on the store page, generally it will be a Steam game. So if you're looking for a full review, oh, there we go, it may be best to look elsewhere. Okay, so already on level two, escape. Now apparently there are creatures in the dark which want your flesh, so... Space. Ooh, hello. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so hold it down now and let go. Boom! Is that... Okay, that looks like a dead end to me. It looked like the bottom route was, was the right route. Okay, yes it was. Okay. I'm very keen to see the monsters in the dark, because this, this could actually get very creepy very easily. It's got a certain very dark... Oh, to, ooh, hello. Well, it's certainly got a very um, ominous atmosphere, and the fact you have to focus so hard looking at the lines and such, it'd be very easy, easy to get a nice jump scare out of this. Ooh, was there a way back there which I didn't notice? By the looks of it, there was. Okay. Should have explored the... Oh, yes, look, they're, they're jumping up. Okay. So, another path was revealed. Let's have a quick um, bang. Now, I should have the volume in game quite loud because this is very much audio based and there are apparently lots of audio cues, particularly in the light game, which I need to get used to. I love how when you open the door, it's so loud, it just, cover it just fills the entire map with the sound waves. Level 3, oh, that's lovely. Death. Okay then. Let's, uh, boom. There we go. Oh, hello. Red. Why red? What what, what what does red symbolize? I'm going to guess death. I mean, I'm not going to touch it. I mean, I could just find it. You know, I'll, I'll find out. Let's go into the red. Oh! Oh, did not expect such a violent noise. Okay. So avoid red at all costs. I don't know what that is. Perhaps it's like a... Um, perhaps it goes down? Perhaps you fell? Perhaps it's just a... Tr because how else would you hear, like... What's that? Are they bees? I can, I can hear insects. Is that bad? Oh! Oh, I stepped on them! Okay, so it doesn't seem to be like a bad thing necessarily, just um, gives away areas, which I assume is a good thing for now. Perhaps later perhaps later it could be worse if that. I know that there's enemies in this game, that's, that's, that's one of the few things I do know. Okay, let's. Oh, oh hello! Ah, uh, doing that, like, explosion noise thing does slow you down, so I've got to be careful with that. But it is good to find out where you're going. Oh, red, 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 red. Let's go up. Oh, I got really conf I got really confused then. I didn't quite understand what was going on with the map. Okay, so essentially going like a, a, like a wiggle. Okay, escaping! It apparently saves you from any monster. That's good, because he kind of got me there. <laughs> if we hadn't, hadn't um, vanished from all existence. And bang! I must say, so far this feels really good. I mean, it's only um one pound something on um on Steam or your course your or your regional equivalent. It's really cheap. Oh well, I can see myself having a lot of fun with this. Okay, there are two monsters. Not good. Okay, I'd, I'd much for one. Bang. Okay, I think I'm going around the circle here. Oh crap, we are literally going around us. Oh, there's the end! Oh, good. Oh, this is so creepy, I love it. 
Six. Calm. Okay, calm's better. Now, does the noise actually wake them up? It seems like it does. And boom! Okay, so start. It was. Ooh. What is yellow? Do you have no option? Okay, yellow is. Oh, okay, so yellow's like a trip mine. Not a trip mine, a, um, a, a, a use item, essentially. Okay, so there's water dripping in the middle of this room. That's what's setting off the noise. I love that, like environmental noises. Like the insects and stuff. Now, it looked like these were, yeah, these were bouncing around that corner. I could do another huge smack. Just because just it goes further. Okay, found another one. Surrounded by death. And that's unlocked that room. Why is that a good thing? Walk back. Hello? Why are you important? Oh, you are the end. Okay. I wasn't, the, I wasn't aware the entire room was the end bit. Stranger. Stranger danger! And boom! Okay, so there's four set off switches. So this one. That's death. Well, it looks like the, well, if they're just going to open rooms next to them, and I assume it's this one's the correct one because of the water behind it. Bang. Nope, nothing in there. Okay. <laughs> oh, I can't help it. Just go big bang again, just like I wanted to. Death. Oh, but is it pure death? Oh, there's a path behind the death. Okay. That almost got me to turn around then. That would have been a mistake. Insects here. Let's do a bang because it's a huge room again. So let's find the entr exits. Okay. Now this, is a bit, now this is a bit of a puzzle room. Just pure death? Pure death. Okay. Not the best. In fact, possibly the worst. Oh, hello. And is there a way out of this room? There is. Okay, going down. Ah, huh, there's water in here. Oh, there's someone walking there. Ah, we found the stranger. He just walked off. Next. Deception. Oh. Okay, it was a waste to do it at start, I find. Well, there's no way around it, so we're using the trigger. Click. Oh. Oh, poop. Oh, the whole room changed. Oh, I walked into the wall there. That slowed me down no, to no end. Okay, well, it stopped the first monster at least. Just carry on, just carry on. Okay, we've got enough time to do a big bang. There we go. Which reveals this. So it's probably going to do the same again. Yep, it is. Oh, Lord, that's really weird. However, I do have a feeling it just went into a... Um, Kinda went in a triangle shape. Okay, good, we've changed path. Oh lord. Oh good, there's the end. What's down there though? Okay, I'm curious. Why are we why have we been given such a long Okay, there's nothing there. I thought that perhaps there'd be something weird down that, that corner. Since we didn't see the stranger again. That one was weird. I like that one. Okay, number nine. Labyrinth. I think we'll stop after number 10 so I don't spoil everything in case any of you do actually wish to go and purchase the game, which I, I would honestly at this point recommend. Oh crud, you're stuck. It doesn't matter if you're stuck. Oh, this is going to release both of them, isn't it? Click. Doesn't seem like it has actually. There we go. Okay, it's so up here. Really struggling, struggling to figure out which way is which here because because there's so many turns. <gasps> oh, Peter actually scared me. <laughs> Told you this could be such a good horror game. Wait, what's that? Do okay, that's close. That's actually changed the path completely. Let's have a look at the area. Okay, didn't have one of these. There's no rush. Nothing's after us right now, so we just looks like it's going. Is that a certain death, or can you go around? No, it's that certain death. So it's down. Going down. And going around. Nope, it's down. Aha, okay. Oh, for Pete's sake, stop doing that. It keeps scaring me. Oh, crap. Is 
Is that one creature now? Oh god, I mean, this is the end, thankfully, of this level, but ah! There we go. Simple yet horrifying. I think that's my exact um, thing of this. Okay, silence. Let's do this. Number 10. We can do it. Oh. Oh, I'm not controlling this, by the way. Now I am. Oh, if you hold down shift. Okay. Holding down shift makes you quiet. But of course, by doing that, you can't see where you're going. Be really slow while doing it. Okay. Normal step. Next. Oh. Okay, there's the end. Oof! Where's another mechanic? I'm sure there's more mechanics to come. But this is where we're going to end it, Sir and Threats. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope I've swayed you to either per well, I hope I've swayed your opinion of this game, um, either in a positive or a negative light. Of course, it's up to you and your kind of game. Honestly, that was very, very cool, and and for, and, and, and for the low price, I was certainly happy to pay it, and I'm certain I'm going to to complete this game as soon as this um episode is over. So thank you for watching. I hope you have a lovely day. Do take care. And if this has helped you and or and or you've enjoyed it, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff, help out me, help out the channel, and show that Let's Plays are something you're interested in seeing. And that this game's pretty darn awesome. Thank you and goodbye. Of course there will be a Steam link in the description below. Toodle pip.